thought somehow it would be cool just to explore this idea of, uh, of surface uh, above and below um, because you can translate that into something or you can interpret it as something that's quite literal or also something that is uh, fairly abstract and fantastical. The above world is based in reality and the underworld really comes from his uh, imagination. He's built a fantastical world that is full of creatures, I imagine, of his own imagination. Ethan gave us the space and the freedom to explore our own characters. He encouraged us to be as wild as we could and then we could always rein it back. But it was, we all felt in a really safe space um, to create using our faces. You know, he wanted us to pull funny faces. You know, anything goes really. It was a real um, freedom and he created that atmosphere. Uh, even over Zoom, he was able to transmit this feeling like just go for it, it's, it's great, it's fun, it's just dance, like it's, it's nothing to be too serious about. We had to have 11 individual looks for each of the dancers involved, but they all had to be part of this big collective of this underworld creature that uh, Ethan gave us lots of buzzwords of things that he wanted. Collaborating with Carly's costume design worked out a way that they could all have a base that was all the same and then have their own individual points so for example I made a base foundation that was for the headdresses that was made from buckram which is usually used for hat making so it's a lot stronger so essentially all the headdresses went on like a hat or a helmet um, again to bring this kind of soldier insect uniform vibe I worked in a few prosthetic pieces to try and make them look slightly more alien so you know they were all essentially human but then had these aspects that took away their features, um, silicone mouth pieces to take away their mouths and lines breaking up the shapes of their faces. In this occasion we sourced the costume from various high street stores and then use those bases to kind of break them down and kind of incorporate all those different features that Harriet was talking about. So for one dancer we, you know, we would take elements of the costume away and then we build different textures into them. Some of the costume fabrics we used iridescent fabrics and a lot of textured fabrics that we thought would work well on the film. The lighting for Ethan's piece was hugely specific to the world he was trying to create and I think it's where light design becomes so important in transporting the viewer's imagination into a completely different world and we're, we're lucky enough here to have Alistair West and he worked really closely with Ethan and myself on exactly how we could create these little pockets within our black box theatre uh, and this striking lighting to, to resemble a completely different world the way that it becomes part of the movement when it's on the crane because that single arm can move just like dance was a lovely extension for us. There's a lot of handheld always because for me, it's the handheld and the sculptural nature of whoever's behind that that makes the difference of how the movement is choreographed. There were moments when Emily was filming us and she got right into all the action. So there were some fun moments actually when, when we were dancing, but also aware of where she was in space. Um, one, so we didn't bump into her, but, but two, just so we can catch the camera or to move around it in a very organic way. We were also very keen for the overworld to incorporate the drone. Uh, and I guess really go from a huge expanse of, of a natural environment down into this dingy, uh, creature-filled environment. I suppose if there's something that I hope the audience comes away with after watching the piece is potentially something they may, they may already realize is just kind of how fundamental dance is. So in essence, whether you're coming from a place that is a beneath the surface or above the surface that there there is something that really is compelling and important about about dance in terms of it being a means of expression and a means of uh, communication.